Uh, hey there. And yes, I know it's the same old, same, you know, good wallpaper. So just open Blender. And say I'm gonna leave you with a cube and a sphere. So add a sphere, whatever you want. Let's say Ico Sphere. Oh, damn, I never get it right. Never mind. Just put it like this. Okay, and um, ever wanted you could put an, an indent in the cube. Say, uh, you know, just dip the sphere in here and have a dent in the cube. Oh well, that's exactly what we're going to do, fraps. Uh, right. Uh, first, you might want to select the sphere first, like this, and go into editing, F9. Okay, and then shift right click on the cube, like this, okay? So, uh, without any other delays, press W while the cursor is in this window, okay? W and add difference modifier. And apply. Now, you can remove the cube, uh, actually, no, you might want to keep the cube. Uh, remove the sphere and like Darth Vader it's there okay so you have your indent kind of thing I don't know so it it punched a hole right through it almost so uh, this is one of the operations you know remember uh, I think that was the sixth grade algebra with the operations, the boolean operations union, intersect and difference well, I'm gonna do union now okay, so apply and you can delete the sphere of course I won't do this because I still need it okay, so now you have the same thing in here and it's, you know molten together like so so if you want to subsurf, you won't get the sphere and the cube, you'll get a freak of nature like this. Hmm. A nice cone. Huh, nice. Well, actually, that's not that nice because the mesh is subdivided like hell. Yeah. So, you know, just forget this again. And we'll talk about intersect, okay? So, again, we have the the sphere and the cube and we'll go with intersect okay W and add intersect modifier this just uh, gives you where the two meshes intersect just like in uh, in algebra I think so apply remove the, the sphere and you have the exact uh, portion of the meshes that you know interlace so to speak so, it's nice, okay? You can use uh, the boolean operations in 3D. I find it very nice. And that's about it. So, you know, just don't uh, go all nuts when you got, you've got you uh, got too many vertices. See ya.